Welcome to Bottle Grapes. I'm Crunch Crutchmark. And I'm Regine Rousseau. And today we are going to bring out some hidden secret wines for the summer. Uh oh. <laughs> Great. Today we have the hidden red wines for the summer. Now what we have done is we each went out and got a secret red wine that we're going to taste out. I do not know what Regine got. And I have no idea what Crunch got. <laughs> and so we're going to taste them out and see if that's the summer wine that you should go out and try. Now, of course, you know, in gentlemanly fashion, we're gonna let Regine start out first with her wine. So is this my wine? That should be your okay, wine. Yes, all it right. is. All right. <laughs> so, so I'll pour for you. There you go. And excuse me, it's a little difficult to pour with the bag. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. So now this was a hard challenge. Because well, first we see here really nice ruby red. It's got yep. that uh, you know definitely got that nice light. It's not thick, inky. Mm -hmm. It's got that really nice, uh, you know, red tint in there. Mm -hmm. Really good. Let's see if we can have a nose. Wow, that is some strawberries. That is some red, red, black, black fruit right in your face. Uh oh, I think he knows what it is. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah, this is really good. This I can get, I can get, I get a big, you know, berry flavor, yep. right, in the, right in the face, mm -hmm. right there. Huh. Like the like the color right there, that garnet, that really nice red garnet look. Mm. Nice. There you go, that rhubarb, <coughs> that nice rhubarb mm -hmm. in the back. Nice flavor. And they're really, ah, got the tartness yes. right in the back, yeah. right back there. Yeah. Really good. Now, why did you pick this particular wine for the uh, summer? Yep, I picked this one because um, it surprised me when I tasted it. So I was hired to do a tasting, and okay. I didn't get to pick the wines, and this was one of the wines. And I think it's one of the best value reds uh, of this varietal, and I won't tell you what no, it is, you no. have to guess. Uh, that I've seen and so that's why I picked it and I thought there's a lot going on um, there's a, a lot of you know flavor there's a lot on the nose for the money and I I have served it with a little bit of chill you know okay yeah. and to me when you said summer red I thought you know what I'm going to introduce our audience to something different so and there we go definitely definitely got a really nice big uh, red flavor really good um, almost peppery at the end yeah. mm -hmm. in the back back there and really it's light it's not a big red winter right. inky you know but it's down. satisfying it is right it's, it's, it's really it's, good it's, it's not that you know that like you said a big red mm -hmm. but if it's summertime and you can't you you, you don't want a big red right. this will give you the same satisfaction right. it doesn't have like i said it doesn't have all the it doesn't have the tanning that's yes what yes it doesn't very have all soft tanning. Tannins. right yes my tongue is in uh doesn't have a coat you know, on it, so mm -hmm. it's not going to get, you know, the alcohol level is going to be around, I can say on this one here, about 13, about 13.5, maybe just a little less, mm -hmm. give or take, but I'm saying about 13.5. Um, it's nice, it's light, it doesn't, it's not all tannicky. Mm -hmm. I don't have to brush my teeth, right. my tongue doesn't have a coat on it. Yep, you but know? your tongue is doing the happy dance. There you go, <laughs> there you go. Um, really nice flavoring pepper. Um, definitely got, like I said, has that great aftertaste. I really like that aftertaste. It's got that big rhubarb bread mm -hmm. aftertaste with a little pepper on there. Um, on this one here, hmm, I'm going to have to say that this is probably a Northern California Pinot. Ding, 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 ding. Nice. Right. <laughs> well done. Absolutely. Well, let's show the audience what we have here. The unveiling. So this is Rietta. It's uh, Pinot Noir. They're sourcing the grapes from three different areas in um, California. Uh, there, I mean, look, there's Sonoma, Monterey, and then um, Benito County. 
Very good. Really nicely done. Mm -hmm. Really like that uh, pepper flavor on there and that nice little light. It, definitely with the uh, Northern California um, up in that area there, it's it's a lighter, it's not that heavy, it's not that Walla Walla, mm -hmm. it's not that, um, you know, the Washington or the Oregon, or, or really big and bold. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice summer and a great wine. Thanks. Nice job. Thank nice you so job. much. Very Cheers. Good, yeah. <laughs> Definitely like to finish this one out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm excited right. to see what you brought. Now, the next wine that I bought mm -hmm. here is a really nice. Beautiful red wine from, uh, again, California okay. as well. And uh, this is a particularly good family friend of mine. Okay. I know the family here for a while. Mm -hmm. um, it's really nice. It's great, versatile red wine for a lot of uh, the people out there who like to do their grilling. Okay. So, okay. And it's probably one of the best value wines that I have come across. That's important. Um, well, the color is gorgeous. I am seeing some, you know, deep red. Um, the rim is this really bright red rim. Um, the center has a little bit of purple mm. um, in it, which I think is just really lovely. Um, but nice deep color, obviously much darker than the uh, Rietta that we just tasted. Oh, lovely. So on the nose, um, I'm getting this really um, beautiful caramel on the nose. Mm. Cherries, um, but more, no, more dark fruit. More the dark fruit. Some licorice, yeah? Yeah. Vanilla. Definitely get some, some vanilla in there. I can't wait to drink this one. <laughs> uh, taste up and let's see what we get. Okay. Hate to keep a lady's palate waiting. Mm. Really beautiful um, fruit. Um, that licorice is really pronounced to me. It's really silky in the mouth. Um, I think this is a Zinfandel. Amador County? Mm, close. All right. Close. Close. But no cigar. <laughs> but no cigar. All right. All right. We have... McManus Petite Syrah. Oh, wow! <laughs> yeah, very close though, very close. Now the McManus Petite Syrah, you can usually find around $9.99 a bottle. Um, very good value wine. Mm -hmm. um, the majority of the McManus I'm not too big fond of. They're a little lighter in structure, but the Petite Syrah, in my opinion, is their flagship, which is really good. It's a great um, barbecue. Steak yeah, wine. I agree. Um, definitely one you can after sit afterwards around the fire, mm -hmm. you know, or sitting outside on the yep. back patio, just enjoying just by itself. It's got that versatility where you see it doesn't have all that big tanning. Mm -hmm. you know, there's no, you don't have to go brush your teeth. There's, you know, yeah. but it's got that nice, um, like you were saying, the vanilla yeah. and the um, you know big blackberries on there. It's mm -hmm. almost like a like a cranberry, a light cranberry glaze. glaze. Absolutely. On your, That's on a your beautiful meal. description. That's a beautiful yeah. description. And stuff. What, like I said, it's kind of a nice one to be able, it's affordable to be able to have a couple of bottles laying around the house um, during the week. Mm -hmm. You decide to go out in the back, do some grilling, like, you know, maybe not today, you know, right, 98, right. It's too 98 yeah. degrees, you know, but. <laughs> Um, but you know, when you have a nice uh, day, you want to go out and grill and have something with this. Mm -hmm. This is a great wine to go with any type of uh, grilling. Um, definitely, like I said, asparagus. Yeah. Uh, you know, a big braised uh, chicken. Mm -hmm. a, Anything uh, grilled and charred. Exactly. I keep getting on. Um, I keep get, getting this prune on the finish. This yeah. stewed prune. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's. This is. I mean, the price point is. Amazing. Price point is right there. Yeah, it's right amazing. There. I, you know, yeah. obviously, I, I would obviously, it's now that I'm drinking it, I'm thinking, yeah, absolutely, it's petite sera. Mm -hmm. But it really has a lot of. Um, if you're a Zen drinker oh. and you want to try something different, mm -hmm. I think I would, I would definitely recommend this. And the Zinfandels, you know, are, are going to be in a in a higher um, alcohol content, which sure. is what you really don't want mm -hmm. because number one, during when it's really hot, you can just make you sweat. Right, you know, right. But there are like some lighter style Zins too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but not as much. Yeah, in, in my no, you're opinion, right. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're um, right. But the are you disagreeing with me? Right? Uh, absolutely <laughs> not. 
<laughs> it, we definitely um, this at thirteen at thirteen two. Mm -hmm. I do believe it is, okay. and um, it's just a nice, you know, lighter style wine without being big and bold over the top. Yeah, and um, approachable, you know, economical. You're able to drink it, and you're not going to be embarrassed. Um, definitely, like I said, we're here to find you guys some of the great yeah. value, hidden value. A great wine, as we know, I, doesn't go by the price point. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And I know this is a time of year where we entertain. That's and this is, it's, you know what, we picked a summer red, but you could fall, winter. I think there's enough going on with this that if you if you like to entertain, mm -hmm. you can just keep a case in the house. Yeah. I mean, seriously, I don't work for no. the winery, but <laughs> seriously, but this is something yeah, that definitely. you can pour and most people would just be very, very happy with it. Right. So. so, we had two great summer wines for yeah. you guys to go out and, uh, you know, to try, to uh, seek them out, find them, and uh, try them out. Um, we'll keep, uh, you know, we'll keep you guys into the, in the loop. Letting you know the hidden values out there, um, you know, we're just a bunch of, uh, you know, architects of, uh, or, you know, architects, what would that be, um, you know, wine... Uh, curators? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> wine. wine curators? Yeah, wine creators out there looking for the wines that have with the best deals for you guys to mm -hmm. try. Um, I'm Crunch Kretschmer. And I'm Regine Rousseau. We're going to find the wine to save, save you, you the, the time. time.